everyone welcome to yourpedia education so today we are here at iit ropal and uh, i got an opportunity to interact with one of the amtech student from iit ropal mr rakesh so in this video we will discuss about his journey about his amtech specialization and what all experiences rakesh had he will share those experience and recently he also got one phd opportunity from abroad or foreign country we will discuss about that also so this video is going to be helpful especially for those all viewers who want to start their amtech from iit ropal especially in the signal processing and communication so rakesh first of all thanks a lot for giving time to us thank right you. so can you please start with your brief introduction hello everyone my name is mohammad rakesh khan and i have completed my graduation in uh, electronics and communication engineering from rajasthan technical university kota and then after i started masters from iit ropal i just completed the master from here then after completing the masters uh, i got opportunity to work uh, as a phd student in trinity college dublin ireland so this is all about the bit right that's great rakib c as you told me off the camera we were talking yes, that your journey is you know full of excitement yes sir see most of the time you know people don't do that much research work in amtech also right you told you have submitted some paper in the some highly top rated conferences also we will discuss about that all but the very first question is why you didn't join any corporate job or company after doing amtech in signal processing actually sir just after completing my first year of masters because in first year we have like course work and after completing the first i joined the lab for the research okay. so like the i have seen that the freedom they are they are working with and uh, the lifestyle lifestyle of the professors okay so i thought i should go to this area because i want to work with motivation not with the pressure right, right. so in the work in corporate they pressure you to work or to complete the work right. but in in phd or in academic you have a motivation and then you work right. so i also spent a lot of time for that uh, for the project but it it is like a motivation okay. it's not a pressure by the anyone right, right right so professor give me a lot of time just to work your uh, what's your interest and uh, come come up uh, with some results so that's uh, like really motivates me to go in that area actually okay aapne bola ki yahan pe signal processing mein placement milta hai bachcho right companies aati hai aapne bhi math work etc etc ka written likha tha right to matlab aapko phd mein hi jana tha Yeah, sir. Actually, many student here. Actually, uh, almost I, I, I can say almost all student got placed. Okay. But uh, me only actually. I am interested to do uh, go for the high, higher studies. Right, right, right. And uh, luckily, I got the PhD from Ireland. Okay. And one of my friend also got uh, in DRD. He is selected in DRD. After yeah. MTech. After MTech. For which position? Uh, DRD and this uh, like result is uh, sir like RSC. कॉलेज so my research area is sir uh, like uh, depth estimation for uh, augmented reality and virtual reality and especially for uh, robotics application okay so rakib c uh, after completion of first year mm -hmm. you joined uh, computer vision and pattern recognition laboratory yeah. right yes sir so basically what all activities you started doing how this journey started can you tell us a little more so that student can get to know more idea yeah sir actually uh, Just be working like in a PhD student. Right. So when we join our lab, so professor give me a full freedom. So just choose your topic okay. first. Like if you give a project na, so you will be uh, if you will get freedom to choose the project. So I started working for one or two month because I don't have any idea about the deep learning and machine learning. Okay. So first I learn that about that what is machine learning, deep learning, how it is, how it is, how can I integrate the, that thing, that techniques to our own project. So first I learn about that and then. I choose a a topic like underwater image enhancement. So right. basically, in underwater, what we have, if we go inside the water, so every images or videos look like bluish images. True, true, true. So if if that image or video sent to the AI model, it will it will not give the accuracy of 
that level. So first of all, we have to enhance that image so that it can be a true color, like whatever the object inside the, uh, like in the sea or any underwater environment. So red color, yellow color will get attenuated and it look like bluish. So if you want to detect some object inside the water, so the, the model or AI model will not detect properly. So it is a kind of pre-processing task so, so that we can um, enhance the our model. So for that we are working for like right. so we have to move ahead. Here I want to ask one question. Today's time now student want to join AI ML, right? Mm -hmm. But if I tell them join signal processing, mm -hmm. you will get an opportunity to implement the AI. Mm -hmm. They believe it's not possible. What's your take on this? Actually, sir, I'll say uh, if you see the rec track record of the uh, higher conference, top conferences. So in around India, like uh, uh, six or ten, or almost uh, almost you can say ten student uh, got the uh, the good uh, paper, a conference accepted paper in the CVPR. So that's most of the student from signal processing. If in our IIT paper, so most of the CVPR actually our lab's name is also CVPR. So most of the paper from the our lab only. Okay. So if you can see the uh, the like their uh, growth in the research. So our labs almost all student after completing the uh, PhD. They they got offer from the across the world so like uh, US, Europe, and in one of the very famous lab in Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, okay. Inception Inception Lab. Right, right, it's a very right. famous lab. So a student getting a lot of opportunity and also getting a lot of paper right. as compared to the computer science student. I'm thinking the electrical student doing well because right. it's a signal processing. We are working on computer vision. True, 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 true. So we are try to. Uh, learn to teach the models or AI machines to how to um, so visualize the objects. Right, 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 right. So now basically you have completed your master, mm. right? Now you will be moving towards the Ireland, right? For yeah. your PhD journey. Mm. So see, there are a lot of viewers who have some doubts in the mind that whether we should join IIT Roper for MTech or not. See, most of the students take their decision from the placement point of view. Yeah. Or when it comes to placement, the top is VLSI always. So yeah. they believe if we get VLSI only then we will go. Mm -hmm. So what is your suggestion to those viewers that signal processing is also very good branch and all the opportunities are here? Sir, as I said, the IIT over is not for the for research, you know, but we are not lying in the placements. Almost all of my friends got the very good placements right. like uh, MediaTek, Intel. So signal processing is not actually, you can say signal processing also uh, get a lot of opportunity for the placements. No one is student, like in one of my friend went to Japan. So signal is uh, like many VLSI company hire the signal students because the, they also want to just integrate the signal integrated concepts right. also there. So yeah, VLSI student uh, get early in uh, like uh, 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 like you know internship, but in full time placements, uh, signal processing is also good uh, good opportunity. So if you wanna come, so definitely will be definitely you will get placement. So why you are not uh, going to start your PhD from Roper only? You have good reputation with the professor, you have good conference paper, you have good CGPA, you could have got easily PMRFA only. Then why not from India? Actually sir, uh, like uh, our director, director said, if you are if you are doing the uh, like bachelor from here, so you should do the like higher study from other college, so that you can explore yourself. Right. right. We are not should be. We are not uh, work like in a particular one area. If I'll go there, so definitely I'll see the different environment and interact with the many students around the world. In IIT Roper, yeah, students are from the uh, other country as well. But yeah, I think if I'll go there, so I'll interact with the many students and also the facilities and lab machineries are available uh, there. So right. that will be helpful for me. And also they are working up predefined projects. Right. right. So. The project is aligned with my project, so my master project. So that will be good, I think. And uh, the ranking is also good. Right, right, right exactly. Right. So now those students who want to go abroad, mm. like you have done master from here. Mm. So what were the point which you believe they discussed in interview? I'm talking about the Dublin University, right? What all point they discussed with you in the interview? First, they will ask about your project, okay. what you did. Okay. Because you are going to do PhD. Right. So you should have idea about the research. So if you have a paper, so definitely you can add that directly uh, discuss with the paper. So they will ask about the, what are the concept, what you did actually in that project, right. what are your area like programming area, or writing area, so every, everything they will ask. And after that, they will ask uh, how can you relate your project with our project. Right. So you have to justify, you have to give the justified answer. 
and then they will ask some basic questions or maybe if you not answer no no problem just they want to ask and they will ask like why do you want to come here right. so you have to just go for, uh, go through the first like professors uh, uh, profiles right. their working area then you have to tell about that i am i have seen already your profile so and also you have to aware with the the environment and the culture of the universities so you have to tell like that i have already connected with this uh, student of the right. trinity college and they have given the very positive feedback right. so in spite of actually i have never been to the uh, ireland still i have a knowledge about the uh, the culture in environments okay. because of the, this uh, linkedin or social media right. 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 so don't they ask for gre and ielts score professor uh, professor did, uh, i think they are not asking about the uh, the ielts or gre score it's a, it's a university criteria right. so some of the university like europe university they don't ask about the uh, gre but yeah in some of the university they ask so if you are like uh, iit or any other universities the like if you are uh, academic all are in english so i think you are maybe eligible you mean to say if you have done your masters or bachelor in the english curriculum uh, then yeah. they can waive off because it's a ultimately english proficiency test right okay. so if you are if you are giving interview so definitely the interview in english so right. if you are ask if you can answer the questions because they are focus on the technical area right. not your actually your like uh, the literature in english so if you can answer the question properly or you can understand the what they are asking i think that's sufficient if they believe that this person can communicate effectively in our research Haan. group then no issue right so only the communication for the research right, right, right. if you do the well actually after completing the phd they will not going to ask about the uh, like uh, ielts an english professor test because you know that he has already uh, very good research in the like tech, uh, like uh, on domain or the four area so they want to focus on that only right to 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 second thing is that see most of the students when they do their masters mm. in india especially mm. mostly are looking for the placement right, right. Mm. so basically what message finally you want to give the student mm. right those who will be joining any of the iit in the coming session mm. how to conduct and how to maintain good cgpa in the master and what is the importance of good cgpa सर एक्चुअली वॉट यूर सिंग करेक्ट कौन सी मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि अभी सेशन स्टार्ट होने वाला है उसमें बहुत सारे बच्चे अपने एम टेक को ज्वाइन करेंगे तो एम टेक को वो कैसे कॉप अप करें बिकॉज जब हम बीटेक से एम टेक में जाते हैं एक सडन ट्रांजिशन होता है बहुत चीजें नई होती है तो सी जी पी ए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है कि नहीं करता और अगर करता है तो कैसे मेंटेन करें सर सी जी पी ए सी जी पी ए प्ले इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल बिकॉज इफ यू गो फॉर हायर स्टडीज और फॉर लाइक एनी कंपनी विल कम हेयर लाइक Uh, like day zero company or day zero company is like the top most company the company generally prefer for the higher cgp student they shortlisted student according to the cgp right because the getting the cgp is iit is that, that means you are a good student right so getting cgp is not very difficult there i think so if you are doing uh, very hard work for getting like a good rank in gate i think it's not very hard work to do uh, to score good cgp just follow the the curriculum okay the just uh, consistent with every assignment and quizzes and the exam so you will get definitely very good right. very good cgp right right and uh, i think yeah cgpa play important in both placement as well as uh, like a phd or higher studies okay. but apart from that you should have the skills also what they, what they are demanding right. basic uh, uh, basically they ask for your domain knowledge like you know uh, like the company the core company i am asking Uh, so they ask about your single processing concepts so on that they ask in an interview also but you should have the coding knowledge also because if you are a good company so everything you have to deal with the software right, right, right. and the most of the company nowadays are coming from this it sector right, right, right. so here also a lot of company from the it sector come so if you have the coding knowledge so you will got you will get also very from yeah, sure sure so thanks a lot rakhi for giving your time i believe this uh, you know interaction was quite informative yes sir from both point of view placement point of view from international opportunity point of view and it will help a lot of students thanks a lot thank you